<laughs> so, Misbah, like in your home, do you speak Urdu or Hindi? Well, Urdu, we speak Urdu, Urdu. Urdu yeah. So, my Urdu is very little, though. Maybe very... the people would like to like listen to you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Misbah. Hey? My name is Misbah. See, I get it really well. I'm in Korea. I don't know what language it is. Reta ho? Or is it Reti? Reti ho. My mom's from Lahore. So. Oh, Lahori. So, so, do you speak Punjabi also? Um, no. <laughs> no. I can say, I can, I can say, Menu Punjabi ne andi. I actually had a Facebook status from 11 years ago saying, oh. I want to teach in South Korea. And wow. then I was like, Dream I'm here. Came Dream came true. Wow. true. Assalamualaikum everyone. So you might have seen from the title like the person right now sitting with me is half Indian and half Pakistani. But first of all, stop the video for five seconds and write down in the comment section like if her mom is from Pakistan or if her dad is from Pakistan. So let's see. So stop the video for five seconds, comment below and then we will ask Miss Ba. So Miss Ba. First of all, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Mispa. I'm from the UK, but my mother is Pakistani and my father is Indian. Wow. Mm -hmm. So guys, like, honestly, I have never imagined, like, I will ever meet someone who is half Pakistani and half Indian. She is like a special piece. In Urdu, we don't say special piece. So Mispa is a special piece. What's your full name? So do you have like Mispa Kumar, Mispa... Uh, Khan or like you yeah. know something. It's, it's just Miss Basale, so it sounds very Arabic. <laughs> so it's it's like both are from Mus Muslim. Muslim names, okay. yes. Because my even though my dad's Indian, yeah. we are from Muslim family. Uh, where are you living right now? Are you living in India or in Pakistan these days? Um, actually, I live in Korea. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, but before Korea, before coming to Korea. Where ah, you? okay, yeah. I'm from the UK, so I'm from Manchester. So oh. some people know Manchester United. That's what we're famous yeah. for. Football, of course. Right. Yeah, but my father. My father's actually born in East Africa, in Tanzania, and my mum was born in Kenya. Wait a minute! That's like a global citizen. So your mom, uh, Tanzania, your dad was from Tanzania, yeah. your mom in Kenya, mm -hmm. uh, your dad is uh, Indian, your mom is from Pakistan, and you are living in uh, UK and now moved to Korea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But anyways, how it happens? How come your mom and dad, how did they meet? It's quite a little bit romantic, even oh. though it's kind of arranged, but it's still kind it of... It was some, arranged. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Typical, the Typical Indian, of Pakistani course. Girl. Basically, in East Africa, um, uh -huh. there's a lot of Indian Pakistani people. So they all mingle anyway, so everyone was quite used to that. And then when my mother lived in the UK, she moved when she was 18, and okay. she lived with her brothers, but her brothers worked in a factory with my dad's auntie and two oh. uncles. <laughs> and they were like, oh, you're East African Asian as well. And they were like, oh yeah, let's be friends. And they were like, oh, we've got a cousin. He lives in Tanzania. In Tanzania. And they showed my mom before. My mom was like, he's too young. <laughs> She's like, nah, he looks too young. <laughs> then maybe one year passed mm -hmm. and um, my mom came home from work. And there my dad was in the living room with his two cousins. And in, 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 in UK in at that the time. UK, okay. In the UK, he was on holiday. Um, and then my mom was like, I've just come home from work. <laughs> he sat there. What do I do? <laughs> and they said, right, go to the other room, you know, yeah, have yeah. the conversation. You know how it goes. The arranged marrieging. It's oh, like that right. conversation, awkward conversation, conversation yeah. in the room. But still someone is looking at yeah. them. <laughs> <laughs> like that, exactly. And then yeah. my mom and dad like were married within a month. Oh my God. They were just like, they just knew that like they were the one. So Ms. Ba, like in your home, do you speak Urdu or Hindi? Well, Urdu, we speak Urdu, Urdu. Urdu yeah. So my Urdu is very little though. I was Maybe very... the people would like to like, listen to yeah. your Maybe your, to your, your introduction, like simple one, let's say. <laughs> okay, yeah. okay. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hey? My name is See, I get it really well. Um... Me Korea me I don't know what language. Reta hu? Reta hu? Or is it reti hu? Reti hu. Reti hu. <laughs> me Korea me reti hu abhi. Korea kaisa lagta hai aapko? Achha mulk hai? Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um, Korea bhot achha hai. Bhot achha. Me um. What's oh, teacher? I don't know teacher. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Actually, we say teacher. Us, us, yeah, we say oh, ustad. Ustad. <laughs> me ustad hu. Oh. Korea me. Korea me. Teaching Urdu? Never. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> clearly. <laughs> no, an English teacher. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're an mm-hmm. English teacher, okay. English something new. <laughs> also, yeah, learn clapping for Miss Buzzword Beats. It wasn't that bad as I was expecting. Really? Honestly, your accent was... Uh, sure? good. Okay. And, and Miss Bob, when you go out, what were people saying to you? Like, you are from... Um, Arab countries? Yeah, they, Arab. everyone automatically thinks I'm Arab, but I only recently dyed my hair light. I had black hair, oh. jet black hair. Okay. Um, but still I would get um, questions. Oh, are you Arab? Where are you from? Are you Turkish? Or like, I was, um, where was I? I was somewhere socializing with some of my friends. Uh-huh. And then a guy approached me and started speaking Arabic. And I was like, what the- I was like, <laughs> I was like, I don't speak Arabic. And went, yeah, you do. Don't lie. You don't lie. I was like, I'm not lying. Leave me alone. Like stranger. Yeah. Said to you, you're Pakistani. Did it, no, uh, no, no, no. no. No so guess. Guess, uh, you guys upload uh, me with you guys also comment below where does she look from so if you didn't know she's half she's mashallah very pretty very beautiful and um, what do you guys think if you would have seen her for the first time what would you what would you have thought my mom's from Lahore so. oh Lahore so, so do you speak Punjabi also oh um, no <laughs> I can little, little bit. I can say Menu Punjabi nahi aandi sometimes i really like listening to it like if i get homesick or i really do you not want to go to a wedding so i listen to that so guys like miss ba uh, usually is uh, miss ba's content is she talks she makes vlogs about her life in south korea and also uh, you know how to be become of course you guys are all beautiful but she talks about the you know the skin care routine skin and the and cosmetics yeah. yeah so her channel link will be there in the in my you know the video description below so please go and check out her channel also and yeah like i was saying she is very beautiful so if you guys need some you know skin care tips that i also need it um, <laughs> so please go and check out her videos mm-hmm. so miss ma now you are in south korea mm-hmm. what made you bring so you know such mashallah you are so diverse family mm-hmm. your background is so diverse what made you come to korea I think what we say my family is that we have the traveling bug. So mm, we're not traveling. really settled in any okay. country. We like to travel around. But then um, what brought me here was because I'm a teacher in the UK. It was always my dream since I was 17 to live abroad. Okay. And I had and I was a big K-pop fan when oh. I was a teenager. Wow. So my my K-pop stuff is well, like Who do you stand? Big Bang, Big Super Bang. Junior, okay, old that. stuff, oh, okay. 21, you know, all the new stuff. Like, I don't mind listening like to BTS and stuff, but I wouldn't say that I'm hardcore army or anything. Mm-hmm. I appreciate great artists yeah. and everything, but I think my time has passed over fangirling. As EXO also. Oh, I love EXO. Yeah, yeah they're very handsome <laughs> and very good singing. Yeah, so I was like, oh no, I've got to teach in South Korea. I actually oh. had a Facebook status. From 11 years ago saying oh, i want to teach in south korea wow. and then i was like dream i'm here dream came true wow. so guys like let me tell you one story so i also had the status on my facebook it, it said like um uh, i don't okay it's again in punjabi it says uh banke bister boria asi te chale korea mm-hmm. Did, can you understand the meaning a little bit yeah. Something, let's go to Korea. Let's go to Korea. <laughs> yeah. okay. So I had it also the status on my Facebook cover before coming to Korea. And then when I was, uh, now I'm here right now in Korea. So yeah, like dreams do come true. If you also want to move to Korea, if you want to come here for study, if you want to come here for visit, you know, for go to BTS store, let's say. So, you know, just keep working hard. Never just lose hope, you know. It doesn't matter where you are in Pakistan or India or Bangladesh, Nepal. Your dreams do can come true. Uh, in Korea, just like last few questions, mm-hmm. uh, did you ever feel racism being a girl or being a foreigner or something? Mm-hmm. I think I have just a minimal, um, like when I've come to Seoul on the subway, there's a seat next to me, even pre-coronavirus or after. And no one sits there and I'm like, it's only maybe young people yeah, will sit next to me. Happens. But Ajashis and Ajamas. No, not, not, not Korean boys. They're like, oh, this beautiful girl. Not- oh, no, well, I think young people, <laughs> women and men, they'll sit next to me, no problem. But the old, old ladies, ones, old ones like, don't go. they're like, okay. ooh, Weiguk mm. has corona. Weiguk, ooh. And then, you know, they move. So I'm kind yeah. of like... Apart from that, like no um, one... No, not really. I think um, that's mainly it. Or when I've been walking around in the street, I get stared at. But nothing, it's nothing it's vocal. Not, it's not, it's not racism. Yeah, yeah, not even, not anything. It's just they're looking because you're, oh, you look foreign or you look foreign, different. Yeah. But I've never experienced anything quite racist mm-hmm. here. And the safety is my favorite thing here. As a girl, you can go around anytime. In England, like after dark, oh, we've got yeah. keys in our hands, oh, we're looking yeah. around, going to the car, are we safe to go? <laughs> Sit in the car, lock, drive off straight away, you know? Been out um, like 11, 12, like sometimes if I come to Seoul, I'll mm-hmm. leave late, 
and then I'll get home to Sejong 11, 12 sometimes, and I can walk home and yeah. it's 20 minute walk, no one does anything. Uh, so have you been to Pakistan? Um, I haven't. I've only been to East Africa twice. So. And neither in India, never? Never been to India, Pakistan. Oh, we yeah, don't, you need to go. You yeah, need to go. we don't have, I don't have any contact with oh. any family in Pakistan or India. So it's if I go, it'd be for tourist things. Yeah. But I do want to see my family's origins. So, uh, Miss Bell, uh, the last but not least, so do you have any message for people watching this video? I say that we can all get along. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's um, important that we just see each other as human beings. I think we've had too much conflict, so we can still be unified. We don't need to um, let these negative things divide us because it only makes exactly. us weaker yeah, rather right. than stronger. Okay. okay. So, Ms. Bob, uh, thank you so much for, you know, coming over here. Thank you so much. It was really fun talking to you. Mm -hmm. And guys, please go and check out her channel also. Am amazing content and I'm sure you guys will love her, her videos. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much and I hope, you know, you will have a wonderful time in uh, Korea. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, best of luck with your YouTube channel also. Thank okay. you. Thank you so much for having okay. me. Thank great. you so much, guys. Yeah. Bye-bye.